In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Dennis Rodman and his amazing skills to get every single rebound. He was able to gather well over 10,000 rebounds in his NBA career, and you could too. Let's get down and let's check out how he was able to get so many rebounds and how you can get as many rebounds too. Okay, so in this first clip, there's a shot that goes up, and Dennis Rodman's able to get that rebound. Why is that able to happen? Well, of course, first off, we have that shot going up. There's a very high probability that when the shot goes up, there's a higher possibility for it to bounce the direction that it's already going than it is for it to bounce back towards the player who shot it. This is why you see players boxing out on this side and nothing happening over here here. So, because of that, Dennis Rodman, we can see him right here, he is able to get in front of both this player and this player. His teammates already boxing out this guy, so what does he do? He gets in front of all three of them to get that rebound. Now, of course, this is a terrible air ball, but he was able to get it either way. Another skill that you can have as a rebounder is to pin your man, the man you are boxing out, underneath the rim. Guess why? Because guess what? There is nothing happening underneath that rim. The only thing happening underneath that rim is if that ball goes in. And at that point, you're not getting a rebound. So, by now pinning your man underneath that rim, and that's what Dennis Rodman did here. He even gave a little bit of a shove to get the guy behind the backboard even, so that now he can get that rebound. That is something that you can do. You can't necessarily push behind the backboard, but if you are legally in box out mode, as we've seen here, you can box your man out underneath that rim and now you have all of this play space to be able to get that rebound. Now something that Dennis Rodman did a lot of is if he could not get both of his hands on that ball or if they got slapped away, he would then just keep on volleying that ball up around until he got both hands on it out on the perimeter and we've seen this quite a bit. Now it doesn't look all that pretty when you're trying to fight for the ball you just keep on hitting it up so other players can't get it. It doesn't look that pretty. It looks like you're out of control. But at the same time, if you can keep on tapping that ball up until you get two hands on it, you are going to be very, very good at getting those rebounds. Here we see this once again. He can't get two hands on it. He keeps on hitting that ball up until he gets both hands on it. And at that point he did fall, but at the same time, he was still able to get those rebounds. We see this once again here, taps the ball up, taps the ball up, taps the ball up, taps the ball up. Eventually he's going to get it, and then of course he does, and he hands it off to one of his teammates. But if you are stronger, taller than the rest of the players on the court, you can do this same strategy. And we see this here again. He keeps on tapping it up until he gets it. He even taps, taps it over top of another player just to get that ball into two of his hands. This is something that you can do. And because you're not in control of that ball, it's not classified as a turnover. It's not classified as a travel. It's not classified as a double dribble. You're allowed to do that. Now, you wouldn't believe how many times he actually did this. Eventually, he just taps it enough to be able to get that ball. It's hilarious, really. If you really think about it, it makes you laugh. But at the same time, it's successful. You're able to do this. Now, the funny thing is, is you can do this. You can keep on tapping that ball up until you get two hands on it. I'm going to give you another secret. And that is, if somebody passes you the ball, and it's way away, like way behind you, and you've got a defender who's really close, guess what? You can tap that ball over top of that defender, get it on the other side, take your two steps, and lay up. You can even do this on a fast break, where you can, t if somebody passes you the ball, you can tap it without getting control of it. Tap it with your fingertips so that you can just continue to go without having to dribble because sometimes it's faster to just tap the ball a little bit farther ahead of you, get it, one, two, and then go up. Guess what? This is not a travel. This is totally legal, and every single player could do this. This is a strategy that he implemented. Dennis Rodman is, of course, one of the greatest players of all time. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, play some volleyball because it just might help you with this skill, and I'll see you guys again next time.